What's up, AP Bob Penguins? Today I'm going to do a little AP Bob Math Minute looking at Hardy Weinberg, specifically the 2013 number 40 question. So we have four different populations, and they've given us the number of tasters and non-tasters, and we need to figure out which population has the frequency of the recessive allele to be the highest. Now, based on our formula, we know that our recessive allele is going to be our Q value. Now, they've told us the non-tasters, which will equate to our Q squared. So we're going to do the number of non-tasters, divided by our total population, and that will give me my Q squared value. Once I find Q squared, I just take the square root, and that gives me my Q value. So I don't want to do the math for all these, so we're going to estimate. So 30 divided by 142 is approximately 3 fifteenths, so that's about 1 fifth. 4,000 divided by 12,000 is approximately 4 twelfths, which is like one third. And then 500 divided by 700 is about 5 sevenths. And then 2,000 divided by 14,000 is about 1 seventh. So 5 sevenths should be my largest Q squared, which means that should be my largest Q. So if I was a student, I would just pick the population 3 and move on. But let's see the math of this just to confirm. Um, so 32 divided by 142 is going to give me 0 0.225, which is my Q squared value. I take the square root of that, and that gives me 0 0.47. Then I do the 4,328 divided by 12,563, and that gives me 0 0.345. And then I do the square root of that, which gives me 0 0.59. And I do 500 divided by 715, which gives me 0 0.699, which is my Q squared. And then I get my Q of 0 0.84. So then I do 2,596 divided by 14,085. And that gives me 0 0.184, which is my Q squared. And they take the square root. So then that'll be 0 0.43. So we can see that our largest Q value is the one from population 3 at 0 0.84. Hope this was helpful. Remember that AP Biopayments just assessed. Bye, y'all.